Is your Fortnite still lagging, freezing, and giving you FPS drops every few seconds? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you secret FPS tricks to boost your FPS by 10 times and have the most FPS in the new Fortnite Chapter 7. Now, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and let's get right into optimizing. The first thing that you want to do is go in your browser and type in discord.gg slash rip tweaks. Click enter and this will open your Discord. After joining the server, what you want to do is go to the free tweaks channel and click on the download button. Click on visit site. Now just click on the download for a Windows button. After you download it, what you want to do is just drag it on your desktop. Right click and open with Windows Explorer. And here, just drag the two files out on your desktop and right click and run as admin on the Rip Tweaks Feedback V8. Now, here, what you want to do is just type in number one to create our store point, aka a backup. And now, after it's finished, what you want to do is type in number 10 and click enter. Now, here, what you want to do is click on number one and click enter to optimize Fortnite itself. Then, you can go back by typing in 11 and then going to do every single one of the tweaks. Now, what you want to do is just go through all of the list CPU tweaks number one and click enter. Intel AMD, you want to select what you have. I've got an AMD CPU. I'm going to go back. GPU tweaks. I have an NVIDIA GPU. I'm going to click number one, so on and so forth. Now, let me just show you the whole tweaking utility. As you can see, number seven, 30 gigs RAM. I'm going to go back, clean up some cleanup tweaks, Windows tweaks, Windows 10, 11, services, whatever. We can go back. We can go to bloat just to bloat the PC. And then we can go click on number seven, power, so on and so forth. There's a ton of tweaks here that will surely help you out, especially the input delay tweaks as you can see we have four of them we're going to do every single one of them keyboard mouse and that is basically about it but before we dive deeper i'd like to share a few words about easy us voice wave the world's most realistic ai voice changer which has over 500 free voices custom ai voices like your favorite politicians celebrities or even game characters it's got a massive soundboard library so you control all of your friends with various audios and it's supported in all gaming apps like discord teamspeak and literally every single game that has a voice chat feature so make sure to visit the link in the description to download easy us voice wave today or maybe even get the premium version for up to 70% off during their Black Friday sale. Now back to the video. Now next on the list is GPU optimizations. So what you want to do is go open the Discord server and find YouTube tweaks, click on download and click on visit site. Now what you want to do here is just subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the Google Drive link. So what you want to do is just click on subscribe and after subscribing what you want to do is just wait and the link will be unlocked. As you can see, the link is unlocked. And what you want to do is just find Fortnite Chapter 7.zip. Everything else here is tweaks from the other videos. And if you want to check them out, make sure to check out the channel to do all of the optimizations. What you want to do is just right click here and click on download. Drag it on your desktop, right click and open with Windows Explorer. Then just drag this folder out and make sure to run NVIDIA Profile Inspector as an administrator. As you can see, here is the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. And what you want to do is just type in Fortnite. And as you can see, see Fortnite is here and next what you want to do is just drag this fortnite.nip file in here click on ok after importing it and click on apply changes after this is done what you want to do is just close everything out and now we can go to fortnite and check out the actual fortnite setting All right so now that we're in fortnite what you want to do is just go into the settings and make sure to do the following number one Make sure your window mode is to full screen. Do not have a windowed full screen or anything like that. Resolution, always have it on native. There's a big trade off actually with having lower resolution and I don't really like it. So genuinely just keep it to your native resolution. Then what you wanna do is for the frame limit, you can either set it to unlimited or to your monitor's refresh rate. Mine is 144, I'm gonna set it to 144. Next, what you wanna do is just set rendering mode to performance or legacy performance. Now what you wanna do is just check this out, go into a game, compare the two, I think legacy performance might have a boost for some people that have older PCs, but again, you can try out both to see which is better for you. In the graphics here, what you want to do is just have everything on the default brightness to 100. We don't even want to discuss that. Next, what you want to do is just have dynamic 3D resolution to off, minimum 3D resolution to around 80%. View distance, you can set it to epic if you want to. Textures, low, meshes, low. It doesn't really make a difference because performance mode already looks pretty bad. Show FPS can be on, latency markers off. That is really about it. Next, going into the game, matchmaking region, what you want to do is just have it on what you're closest to. Then all of this is really personal. I don't want to actually influence anything, but going into the extra game options, having NVIDIA highlights to off is much better because it's constantly recording tiny little clips every time you do something in game your gpu is going to be racking up a lot of usage saving some clips that don't really matter you just want to have this set to off next what you could do is just record replay set it to off off 
off and off. You don't really want to record replays because this is genuinely useless unless you're some pro and you have really big importance to do this. Then just have record replays to on, but nothing else because record high quality replays is just genuinely hogging down a lot of performance for no reason at all. Enable idle energy saving. You could just set it to off because it's extremely annoying. Activate sleep mode. I would just set it to never because it's extremely annoying getting off your PC and seeing the sleep mode screen. But basically that is about it. You could just apply and restart the game to check out the best performance possible. And that's about it guys. Thank you for watching this video. If it helped, chop, make sure you leave a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.